Welcome to the AACS Daily News. The Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency is making an effort to inform the public on how to prepare for winter storms. MEMA coordinator Doug Forbes gave a presentation at the Larson Senior Center on the topic, and we spoke with him after his presentation. Today we're talking about storm preparedness, particularly winter storms as a season is upon us. Some of the things that we need for winter storms would include the proper clothing. We want to have our boots and our coat and our hat and our gloves ready to go when there's an emergency. We want to have some spare clothes in our car as well. We also want to make sure that we don't overexert ourselves when there is a storm. If the doctor says not to be out shoveling, don't go out shoveling. The Council on Aging can help you arrange for someone to shovel your walkway or your driveway if that needs to be done. Something else that we need to do is to make sure our cars and our homes are ready for winter storms. As we approach the season, it's good to take your car into the garage and get a complete checkup. Make sure it's all tuned up, make sure the fluids are good, and make sure that uh, your tires have plenty of pressure. And speaking of tires, make sure they have plenty of tread. You need an all-weather tire for the winter or some good snow tires, whatever works best for you. And then for your house, you wanna make sure that you have checked your furnace and your hot water heater. If you do a little bit of prevention, you'll prevent problems down the road. And if you forgot to spring ahead and fall back and put those batteries in, it's not too late. It's coming up and make sure you put fresh batteries in your smoke detectors and your CO2 detectors. We want to have an emergency kit in our cars. We want to have a cell phone and a charger, water and snacks, a flashlight with extra batteries. And we want to have a first aid kit in there as well. And in the first aid kit, uh, we always have uh, Band-Aids. So it might not be the first aid kit for ourselves. We might be helping someone else. My wise old Boy Scout troop leader always had me keep a Band-Aid in my wallet. And many, many years later, I still do. And my grandkids will come to me whenever they have a little cut, and they always know that I'll have a Band-Aid there in the wallet. We also have, want, want to have jumper cables. You might not be using them yourself, but you might be helping someone else. Many times I've pulled over uh, in a parking lot and seen someone that couldn't get their car started. I said, that's okay. We'd rummage around and get them, and give them a jump start, and get them on their way. We also have, want, to, want to have a big red flashing light at the back of our car. Uh, if we break down, we can just put it out there. We also want to have, want to have a full tank of gas, and it's important whenever it gets down to half full in the winter, top that gas tank off. So if there's an emergency in the middle of the night, you're ready to go. You also want to have a tow rope and a shovel and a nice scraper and a snow brush. It always makes me sad when I see someone with no gloves trying to scrape off their car with a credit card. So make sure you got that ice scraper and get it now. You also have, want to have kitty litter and sand in your car as well. What you do is you simply take a handful of that once you put your car in park and put the emergency brake on. You put a handful of that and throw it against either side of the bottom of your tire. And once you've done that with all the tires, you try to rock back and forth and get out. If it doesn't work, repeat. If that doesn't work, you've got your cell phone, make a call, and I'm sure someone will help you. The best thing you can do in an emergency, though, in a snow emergency is to stay home. Now, what my aunt does when there's an emergency, she knows there's gonna be a big storm, she gets all her supplies. She gets her prescriptions, she gets her food, and whatever else she wants, and when the storm hits, she hunkers down. She's a little bit safer, and the snowplow operators are a little bit safer as well because they have one less car they have to deal with, and it makes their job a lot easier. So if you don't have to be out, don't be out. And we have a special book on how to be prepared for emergencies. It's the best book of its kind available today, and it's free of charge from FEMA. It's called, Are You Ready? All you have to do is call 1-800-480-2520 during business hours, and they'll ship it right out to you. And that's it for today's update. For ACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.